It's a decision he wanted to put off for as long as possible. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson announced the closure of all schools in the UK from Friday onwards. So looking at the curve of the disease and looking at where we are now, we think now that we must apply downward pressure, further downward pressure on that upward curve by closing the schools. The objective is to slow the spread of the virus and as I say we judge that this is the right moment to do that. A small number of schools will stay open for the children of critical workers such as police officers, supermarket delivery drivers and health workers. Exams scheduled to take place in May and June will be postponed. The UK will also increase the level of COVID-19 testing to 25,000 people per day. The World Health Organization has repeatedly said testing is critical to stopping the spread of the disease. 20,000 troops have been placed on standby and a London-wide lockdown could come into effect if cases continue to increase. Dozens of tube stops are shut on Friday and the night service suspended. Boris Johnson had been criticised for not taking stringent action as the government tried to delay restrictive measures seen in other countries in Europe for as long as possible. But its hand was forced this week after Imperial College London estimated over half a million British people would die if the epidemic is not brought under control. And warns that even if drastic measures are put in place, the death toll could still be in the tens of thousands.